I created this using anti-gravity by Google, the new IDE that was announced yesterday. But I want to show you a few things. This is the IDE, looks exactly like VS Code. On the lower right hand side, we have the chat. We have, uh, we can speak to the agent, nothing fancy in here. And on the upper right hand side, we have the open agent manager. If you can see, if you can spot this one. When I click on this, I have like a new screen which is really interesting because it looks just like any chat application we have. We have some inbox, we have conversations and we have our chats. So I click on this one, which is the chat I currently used. Um, we can see I did some chatting with it. Now, the interesting part was I gave it an existing application saying, all right, please refactor it. This is the application Claude created, which looks really horrendous. This is really ugly. And I said, all right, take this existing code base and refactor it. So it did really worse at the beginning, but then it improved over time when I fit it by spoon. And the cool thing is that we have a view mode where if I click on this thing then i have some simulation showing me what the ai did so this is the ai clicking on the browser browsing by itself which is really cool now bottom line is google actually was able gemini to create this final ui but first it did really really bad and only when i took it hand in hand and improved all the processes and the prompts and everything it went from this to this to this and then it lost it all the way through and i had to go back and say all right i want this element that element and it did really well so it looks like if i'm using cloud code for developing the logic and then maybe by using um gemini i can get nice um uis i think so so this is like the high level overview of the new anti-gravity which is almost identical to vs code only having the chat mode um which is i assume nice uh, the recording is really cool um but i don't think that this will be the main reason to go to a, a different ide especially not for the uh, ex uh, experienced developers um so bottom line is that this is a really interesting product we should give it a go but i think they will have a serious challenge going from cursor or cloud code or you know github copilot to to this one but we'll see we'll see i think that gemini 3 does nice in uis but not perfect far from being perfect so this was my overview about the new anti-gravity ide and the gemini 3 pro